This is the brand new EcoFlow Delta Mini, and it's exactly what people have been asking for. It's a super compact unit, but it's also surprisingly powerful. From the outside, it looks just like the original Delta, and it's not necessarily a bad thing because people really like the design and they sold a ton of them. Most of the changes are actually on the inside. The original Delta couldn't be controlled by any sort of software or an app, but on the Mini, you have complete control for all the settings, and you can even turn the outlets on and off. And check out the difference in these displays. Now the Delta's original screen was really good, but this Mini is so much brighter, and now you can read this thing in any kind of direct sunlight. I've been using this Mini for a month, and the feature I like best is the size. You can take this thing anywhere. And this DeWalt toolbox has become one of my favorites. This thing is tough, and it costs under 35 bucks, but it's perfect to carry on one of these Delta Minis. And you can see you still get a bunch of room in the front for cables or other types of tools. Using the Delta Mini is easy, you've just got this one power button in the front and now the unit is on. Many people use this type of unit just to charge up phones, cameras, and you've got all those USB ports in the front, including a USB-C that's rated for 100 watts. You can also use one of these splitter cables. This thing is great because it's got two Apple Lightning ports, along with a regular USB-C and a micro USB. The display is still the same smart display they use on other models, and that's a really good thing because this one is one of the best. Tells you how much power is going into the unit, how much is coming out, and it also calculates the amount of runtime you can get while you're using the device. The Delta Mini is rated for 1400 watts of continuous output, and here's a few examples of the kind of things you can run. I've got a CPAP along with a 250 watt heater, I'm charging an iPhone and an iPad, and this is a Milwaukee hammer drill. This thing uses about 800 watts, and there's no issues at all running all this equipment at the same time. I also did a separate test run in the shop back, and this thing is big, it uses almost 1200 watts and had no issues at all running it. Another great feature on the Mini is how fast you can charge it up. Now you've got multiple ways you can charge it. You can use solar, charge it directly off the wall using AC, or even plug it into your car. Another great plus is they give you these three cables in the box. You've got one to plug it directly into the wall, you've got a solar cable, and then they also give you a car adapter. You might also notice there's no AC charging brick, and that means less to carry and you won't have to worry about losing it. And because the Mini is so small, you're definitely going to be taking it with you, so being able to charge it up while you're driving is super handy. You just plug it right into your cigarette adapter, and the other end goes into the back of the Mini. And the fastest way to charge up a Mini is to plug it into an AC outlet, and when you do, you can go from 0 to 100% in 1.6 hours. That is the fastest charging speed on the market today. You can also charge the Delta Mini using a solar panel. The maximum amount of solar input is 300 watts. And this is EcoFlow's 160 watt panel. You could actually use two of these to charge up the Delta Mini in about three to six hours. But you're not limited to EcoFlow solar panels. You can use pretty much any brand of solar panel as long as it meets the input specs. I also wanted to make sure that all the specs were accurate and that the device was working perfectly. So I connected up to my analyzer and I wanted to make sure it was putting out pure sine wave power and as you can see by the graph, everything looked great. I also confirmed the weight at under 24 pounds, and finally I wanted to do the efficiency test. The efficiency is going to tell you how much usable power you're going to get from any device, because there are many on the market that actually eat up a lot of the power on their own, and that means less power for you to use. The test starts by charging up the Mini to 100%, running a load in it until it gets to zero, and then seeing what the meter measures. And here we got 814 watt hours out of a possible 882. That means it got 92% efficiency, and that's a really excellent rating. There are many other competitors in the market that have scored in the mid 80s or even lower. And the Delta Mini uses lithium ion batteries. These are the same ones inside your computer or your iPhone, and they're designed to be the most lightweight, and that's what this unit is all about. They wanted it to be small and easy to carry. The Delta Mini is perfect for somebody that wants to run really large loads, up to 1400 watts, but may not need to run them for a long time. And hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already for more videos coming up.